What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Driving with Randy. It's episode number 45, and I know what episode it is because I uploaded this morning. Where are we at right now? We are... <coughs> hey, I got a cough. Um, got a cough. I ain't gonna smoke a... <coughs> got that smoke a cough. You know what I'm saying? No. What is up? We are downtown right now. Anytime I'm downtown, I need to record because every time I'm downtown, shit happens. People are fucking stupid. You got ice cream trucks right here. Brown's ice cream. Fuck you. Parking in the middle of the road. Screw you. Man, I, I, I don't know if this is correct. I might have taken the wrong road. Oh, baby, we got a green one. Uh, oh, I did not take the wrong road. But all right, last time I was down here, some homeless mother it, it, fucker walked in the middle of the road when I had a green light. I was so aggravated that today I needed to make sure that I was fully prepared to yell at them live on the podcast and provide some good entertainment. By the looks of it, no nonsense like that's going to happen. I'm almost onto the freeway already. It, it was just me. Uh, I had to, had to be an Uber driver. I had to drive my mom. Um, the, the Uber fee, normally there's not a fee. I just do everything for free. But, you know, my mom felt bad today. So she hooked a brother up with $5 because I said I wanted Chipotle. So she said, like, here, just have $5. So. I have five dollars towards a giant Chipotle bowl that um, we're definitely going to record getting today because Chipotle's on the mind. Back when I had food poisoning, Chipotle was on the mind, and I figured Chipotle was not a good idea when things aren't going so well, solid down there. So that's kind of what happened. Uh, the current state of the the. Minnesota is it's currently raining raining and 61 which is actually kind of funny what the hell we got going on here so someone lost their entire laundry mat bag I don't know they forget it on the top of their car or what but there's clothes all over the highway I should go we should pop a Yui pick up one of the homeless people and take them here like hop on in I know where the free clothes are at I think that would be a kind gesture. Um, so instead of driving home right now, we got other places to be. Um, my dad has a package that I was supposed to, you know, I, I was supposed to give him, or I was supposed to go, he's returning this package, right? But when he returns the package, it's on me to, to, to return because... I don't, I don't know, but that, that's just the way it goes. So we're currently headed to the post place, good old UPS with a prepaid box. We just have to go in there, hand him the thing. I don't know, what, what's that called? Hand them the, hand them the box. They scan it and they ask if you want a receipt. Heck yeah, I want a receipt because when you fools lose my box, I have a receipt for the company saying that I returned it and then they can go after UPS. I don't think it's insured, but I don't even know how that works. I just, I live. I, okay, I do have my wallet. I was gonna say, I might not even have my wallet. Now the correct thing to do would be go get Chipotle here, but I kinda wanna make breakfast first at, I make breakfast at 12 o'clock. So I'm gonna make breakfast 12 o'clock as per usual. And then I'm just gonna leave like, 45 minutes earlier and um you know give a uh uh what do you call it uh get a big old chipotle bowl and we we could probably record that entire interaction i'm kind of like just we're here for the content these days right we're all about good quality content and i think the good quality content is me walking around so i actually recently shared my podcast the state fair podcast i shared that on my twitter i don't just i don't i never advertise my podcast anywhere like i told you guys i need to start 
advertising and then maybe we'll go somewhere but for right now it's kind of just been like you know grind it out upload frequently get them listens and one day when we hit a hundred listens per episode that's going to be up we hit one episode with a hundred listens i'm going to be extremely happy um right now we got a car coming down the left lane who's who's uh what the hell are you doing get some duct tape or something you moron there's like it's the 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 front bumpers just flopping around everywhere. It's all floppy happy. There it is. There I know you guys can't see it, but there it is. There she is. If it falls off and hit my Toyota Sienna, I'm gonna kill you. God dang it! Now we're gonna get in trouble. Oh my god! Now she's pulling in front of me. We're just gonna get in all sorts of trouble for um a. What the, it's just. That's flopping around so much, it should not be doing that. It's like when I'm rollerblading and I'm freeballing and my dick's just flopping around. That's kind of what her front bumper's doing right now. It's like her front bumper is freeballing. Well, I guess you gotta do what you gotta do. Maybe she's on the way to the store right now to get some duct tape. Never know what's going on in people's lives. So I'm just gonna let her do her. I'm gonna do me. I did threaten to kill her, but I didn't really mean that. So please do not press charges because I'm just a I'm just a boy with a podcast trying to entertain some folks. And she's smoking. She's just looking to die. I, I don't know. I mean, do what you got to do, I guess. Well, that there's a sign here with a Denny's logo, and the Denny's logo does not match the Denny's logo. Maybe it's a knockoff Denny's logo. I, I, I don't know. Um... But, yeah, we've been just rambling on about a bunch of nonsense. I kind of want to, I don't know, I don't have a whole lot to talk about. I want to kind of talk about, uh, I don't know, I've been, I've been watching a lot, of, a lot of poker lately, like professional poker. It's just interesting shit. I don't know. It's like I know how to play poker. Do I know how to strategically play poker, how they play poker? Not a chance. So I've been watching, like, Got one of my favorite YouTubers as of recently. Ryan DePaulo, Degenerate Gambler. He makes some quality vlogs. He like he talking he goes he goes and goes full D Gen mode and like put hundred dollars into God one episode I was watching, he put a hundred dollars into the slot. He's like, I don't know what the max bet is and he presses he's like, Oh, the max bet's fifty dollars. He's like, uh oh. then he presses it again, he's like she now we lost a hundred dollars in two spins i mean that's just full degen mode right there and uh i mean what a guy right he just he but he plays poker and he's probably a little more well known for his uh he has a poker they call him a poker vlogger he 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 vlogs at the casino which he, you're not supposed you can't record in a casino so he he breaks all the rules he uh, records at the table. He gives full updates from his poker tournaments. And he finished top top five at the World Series of Poker at the Colossus. Uh, he won $208,000. I want to say that's third place. Third place? Ryan DePaulo? Third place? Possibly. I don't know. But yeah, he makes some quality vlogs. It's like parkour. He does shit like that. He make, he makes some jumping parkour videos. He he does it all. Let me tell you. So if you like that kind of content, good vlogging content, I'd, I'd go check out Ryan DePaul. He's not a sponsor of this. It's just me with my opinions as as per. Hey, a UPS guy. Maybe we should wave wave him down and maybe he can take him. So I actually. Yeah, this is the exit. I was gonna say I don't know the exit. It's definitely this exit. I was, you know what? I was looking at buying a new knife too, and we're by Cabela's. We could go buy a knife. Doubtful. What we're gonna do actually is we're gonna drop this box off. We're gonna get back on the highway. We're gonna go to Quick Trip and get a. Uh, a shake because I'm kind of fucking addicted to their shakes and they have carrot cake so we're probably going to get a shake and carrot cake 
We are just going full sugared out mode today. I mean, why not, right? We can, we're allowed to have a day where we eat like, tra oh, I have a salad at home. I have all these veggies at home that I cut up. Man, this, the lady next to me just has like this scowl on her face and her arms crossed. I hope you have a good day. It's raining. Oh, now the car's all wet. But we told her to have a good day. So I feel like we did, we did God's work there. Where are we going? Oh, yeah. Um, we're going to take the back road because we don't got time for these, these red lights. So we're making an executive decision and turning here. Um, but as I was saying, the, this gas station just has these shakes that got me, like, addicted. And I have a rewards card now. So, like, every 15th visit, I get coupons or some shit. I I don't know. I tried downloading the app, and it's like, oh, you need iOS 11 or greater. And it's like, well, I got iOS 10, and I'm not looking to download an upgrade because I like how my phone works, and I'm not trying to get used to using a different... Maybe, you know, technically, if I were to download iOS 11, I could download the app that I use. Oh, um, right here. This is the cut right here. I could technically download the app that I. You're a fucking moron, dude. There's a stop sign. That means stop. Don't. Holy crap. This guy just ran a stop sign. We are going to go full citizen police mode here. Oh, baby. He's going right to the UPS store. Oh, he stopped at this one, but only because there's a car. Listen, buddy. There was a stop sign back there. You fucking idiot. You could have killed someone. You're a moron too, Mr. Baldy. Grow some hair. Get a toupee. Jesus Christ. Everyone's just out breaking rules today. Don't think they need to stop at stop signs. You're going to kill someone. Drive safely. You morons. I could park between these. Oh, all right, we got to do it now. All right. I'm not good at parking, but we're parking between two cars. Oh, shit. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And we left enough room for this old guy to get into his truck because he's looking to get into his truck. So um, we are going to... I guess go ahead and I've only been recording for 12 minutes. All right, we're going to go ahead and um, deliver, not deliver, drop this box off and then I'll be back to get a smoothie. We will be right back. <laughs> All right, the package has been delivered. Imagine that, delivering a package to UPS. All right, there's not a chance I get out of here. Well, I mean, we're going to have to try. Am I going to hit this truck? <laughs> no, I'm not. Because I'm a fucking beast at this. Uh, this is, I am just professional. I'm going to start a YouTube channel called um, Road Rage Randy Professional Driver. And I want to talk about something that has occurred. There's this place called the Indian Palace, right? And apparently, they. Uh, my assumption is they serve Indian food. Like, um... Like people from India, India food, not like people we stole the land from Indian food. Not, not, not that kind. Um, <laughs> no, can I say that? Well, I did. So I said that. Um, but yeah, there's this place and it's like, it's, 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 it's popping, dude. Like every, every person in this town is on their way to like, uh, Okay. Every person in this town is um, on their way to the Indian Pass. Look at that, another green light. We are in the crappiest town when it comes to green lights. And we have gotten a bunch of green lights today. So we all know what that means. Today's a good day. We got green lights. We're feeling 100%. <coughs> Besides this cough, a oh, mini cough. And I need to crack my neck just a little bit. It's just a little bit. But other than that, life's great. That guy just ran a red light. He was impatient. He knows. I, I, I accept. Okay. I'm going to accept this. You can run a red light when you're in a town like this because you're going to be at the light for 20 more minutes. 
but you can't roll a stop sign. You're a moron. That's what it. That's what that comes down to. You roll a stop sign. You're a moron. You run a red light because it was it was maybe a, a hint of yellow. Maybe it, it was a little orange when you went through it. Some along those lines because this town is 30 minute lights. I mean, it's it's justifiable, and that's all I really have to say on the topic. Um, boy, we're gonna get heated here because this location right here. So um, Friday, I think it was Friday, I was driving this way, and a dude with a Tesla, right? Like, I get it. Teslas are, <laughs> Teslas are freaking neat, right? I mean, yeah, yeah, they're, they're cool and all, but this guy, I can't, he, I can't even see if the lane ending, it's like the rain is just so bad right now. But this guy with the Tesla, first off, wouldn't let me merge. Second off, doesn't know how a zipper works. Like, we are in a construction zone and we have to zipper merge. And I'm just sitting there like, buddy, look down at your pants. That's how a fucking zipper works. But knowing him, he probably had his pants on backwards. So he wouldn't know how a zipper works. God, that guy was so irritating with his Tesla. And it's very clear that the only reason he gets places okay is because he has a Tesla. He does once once the construction hit and he had to pilot it himself. He just like went full idiot mode, like, I, I don't know how to freaking work this thing. It's a, uh, back in my day, we used to use horse and buggy. Yeah, you're an idiot. You don't deserve to know how to be on these roads. It just irritates me, man. That guy, what's this say? I scream, you scream, we all slow down. No, that's not how it works. I appreciate MnDOT trying to, trying to be clever with their things, but nope. It's all about the ice cream. Anyways, we're on our way to get a smoothie. Great, great smoothie. And some carrot cake, if they have it. So, like, the last time I was here... Man, this is... I've been here three times this week. But I have a rewards card now, so they're gonna... This guy is all smiling. No, he must be listening to my podcast. Shout out to the man in the black ram listening to my podcast, because he was just smiling. I uh, big fan. I know you're a big fan, man. No, I don't. But now I do. I found some Kleenex. Cool. I thought I only had Chipotle napkins, but apparently I have Kleenex in here too. Can't. It's. it's this is what I'm talking about. We've been at a red light now for about two minutes. It's just like, if it, it would have been justifiable for me to run this light, given the circumstances. All right, so now they're going yellow, so that means we should be getting a nice solid green. Vroom, vroom. Here we go. Oh, <laughs> the road's wet. Don't got that traction. I got. I wonder if you guys heard that. I I promise I don't drive like uh, I don't drive like an idiot. I mean sometimes, but um, yeah. So the the plan is, we just we're full on sugar mode today. Um, we can eat healthy tomorrow. But it's kind of like I ate very well for a week because I was feeling bad and I felt great when I was eating like that for a week. But then then we needed to just be like, you know what? I'm feeling healthy. It's sugar time, baby. So we got all this sugar just waiting for. You know, my brother is right up the road. Maybe. Oh. <gasps> Should, should I offer, oh, I, I could call my brother and offer him some food and then we could, he could be live on the podcast. I need an actual guest. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Now we have to wait for this thingy. One of those cats. Oh, no. Like a cat, cat, Um, what's it called? A, one of those things, what are those construction units called that scoop, scoop things up? Like not a not a bulldozer, not a oh it's but he's got forklift on it. He doesn't even have the scoop thing. I don't even I don't even know what it's called. I just I'm I'm rambling on about a bunch of nonsense. Um the the lack of parking at this quick trip right now is is quite alright. <laughs> we didn't hit anybody, so we're we're in. Man, 
it's just like I just I, I try to get the the easiest parking that I can possibly get and just like they're making it difficult on me well I think I'm gonna end the podcast there a nice and short one we didn't really talk about a whole lot we talked about some degenerate gambling this guy's got some nice hair like this Asian worker dude he's he's got some beautiful hair it's nice and slicked back but that takes him quite some time I'm going to go catch up to him and tell him I love his hair. Um, I want to thank you guys very much for um, very much for listening. My name is Road Rage Randy. Make sure to share this with all your friends. Um, leave a review on iTunes. Maybe four stars for this. Yeah, three. Three. Maybe just be honest with yourself. Three star podcast. Follow me on Twitter at Thoughts by Randy. You hit me up on Reddit at r slash driving with rain we're about to get a smoothie and carrot cake peace